Read Mentors Roundtable is a space that we get kind of smart, knowledgeable, innovative folks who really care about what's happening in the country and what we could do to the country. Well, that's where real innovation comes from that cross fertilization of ideas and different perspectives. And because of that, that's kind of the core format of what we're doing here. And to start this session on reading privacy, we got a guy who's really a big idea thinker, uh, Peter Schwartz. We're really honored to have him here to kind of set the table and start this conversation. I, I think uh, one has to put uh, the current situation in a kind of historical perspective. One, you lived in a village and you really had no privacy because everybody knew everything. Or you lived, you know, as a remote farmer, peasant somewhere, and you really had privacy by isolation. But over time, our technology is changing, and that's what's changing the nature of privacy in, in several important respects. Power of the individual is enormously enabled by this hyperconnectivity, but at a cost. And that cost is that I have to be connected. I think that there's great potential, particularly in talking about privacy as an individual right and the central notion of the individual as an information sharer who needs more control. But I think that we also have to talk about the benefits of, of the free flow of information. Privacy is culturally relative. It's highly contextual. Some cultures are more concerned about this than other cultures. I think that the response within Europe uh, will be significantly different from the response within the U.S. Some uh, age groups are more concerned about this than others. The new notions of privacy is a combination of laws, social norms, new markets, and, and the new technology. It's always evolving and it's evolving to something else. Technology of interaction has changed so that more and more of us are interacting just as we are here today and those electronic means expose us to the opportunity to have our privacy violated. It's all about harm. Whether or not someone else knows something about you is less important than whether or not they can harm you. Well, what's the threat we're trying to deal with as opposed to protecting against absolutely everything? Top-down protections of privacy that restrict information flow cannot work. They only empower the mighty. I actually think that the big game changer might be what if people can actually get something in exchange um, for their information. You have to be a little aggressive in this new world in order to enforce your right to be left alone. And shy people, they're just going to be screwed. What I would like to see develop is the tools of identity management. Uh, it's not a very big challenge. If you have the right identity management tools, you can actually declare your right to an anonymity. There are certain contexts in which anonymity is necessary in a positive things and there are a lot in which it's not. The paradox is that the solution to privacy is, is in, in some ways greater transparency. The one thing about transparency is surveillance. Surveillance is looking down from above. Surveillance is looking up at authority from below. This approach of empowering individuals to make their choices about sharing including on their media commentary and others, is something that will continue to be a great and important way that people express themselves and use the right of privacy. For the moment, frankly, most of the option that an individual has is to opt out, drop Facebook, drop LinkedIn, don't reveal very much in the networks. And I feel fairly confident that within, let's call it, 5, 10, 15 years, the tools at an individual level will improve. I'm hoping we get a greater public understanding that A, this is nuanced, B, that it's not hopeless. Out of that, we develop better policies and a really strong move to better countermeasures than we've seen. The most beautiful phrase that I've heard is this, um, this right to anonymity, but also right into multiple identities because we carry these identities and that you have some sense of control is indeed a world that I'd be excited to live in.